Hello, my friends. This is old Dr. Dog coming back at you again. We're going to begin a new topic. We have moved through uh, correlational analysis and we have moved through factor analysis. And now we will begin to examine linear regression. And this little video is simply an introduction. Now, I love this quote down here, this anonymous quote, that 98% of all statistics are made up. I wonder if that's true or not. Well, let's get started. As we examine simple linear regression, we need to remember that simple linear regression is about representing a set of clustered data points with a best fit line. Uh, the be line of best fit is a line which represents the data set with the smallest distance between the line and each of the data points. And for linear regression to work, the data set must have two variables that are reasonably correlated. Now all of this seems a little confusing to start with. Don't panic. I'm going to carry you through and show you some visual representations of linear regression and perhaps that will help it make a little bit more sense. But what you need to get from this is that in linear regression we have two variables. One of those is called the independent variable, the other is called the dependent variable. Uh, we call it linear referring to line, a line function out of algebra you have an x and you have a y. These two variables are reasonably correlated. Now I just don't know how what reasonable might be. That will depend upon the individual case, but they are reasonably correlated, this set of data points with an x and a y value, and all of these data will have a line which fits their trend. Some of the line fits can be good, some of them are not good, but simple linear regression is about putting a line into a group of data set to find the line which best fits and predicts what uh, their values will be. Now, in order to help you understand that, let's consider this, this data set just a minute. Here we have all of these points. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. Each of these little points has an x and a y value. If you look at this point and you come down to x, its x value appears to be about 2.25, its y value appears to be 2. If you look at this one and you come down, its x value is right there and its y value is right here. So each of these points has an x and a y value. Now here's a line. That's what you do in linear regression. You put a line which best fits the data points. Now look at the distances that are between the line and the data points. The goal of the best fit line is to make a line which minimizes these distances. Uh, this data set actually has a lot of scatter and the regression model that we would do for that line is accordingly very weak. Uh, I would tell you that I, I imagine that these data points are not very well cor cor uh, correlated. So if the correlation is weak, the regression model is weak. Now let's look at this data set just a minute. Look at all of these data points. They seem to be fairly well cor uh, correlated. So if we put a line through them, and then we look at the distances of the individual data points from the line. Some of the data points actually are almost on the line. Others of them are just short distances away. So this line has, this data set has very little scatter, and this regression model is strong. So we have a good fit with this line and that data set. It is important when you look at a data set and you build a linear regression model that the first thing you do is that you check to see if the data are correlated. If they are not correlated, then, then your linear regression model is extremely weak and may almost be meaningless. Simple linear regression, again, is about representing a set of clustered data points with a best fit line. That's what we did here. We represented it with a best fit line. Simple linear regression, the line of best fit is a line which represents the data set with the smallest distances between the line and each of the data points. Now we could draw a lot of lines, but this line minimizes these distances. And for linear regression to work, the data set must have two variables that are reasonably correlated. Now I want to thank you again for your support. Don't give up on me. This was just a brief introduction. We have a series of other lectures in which we will develop the concept of linear regression more in depth. As in the words of the old Vulcan, peace and long life, no, live long and prosper. You got it.
Have a good day.